All right, we are going to expand this binomial using the binomial theorem. Binomial means two terms, two terms. And what you have here is a binomial times itself five times. That would so suck to have to multiply it over and over and over and over and over five times. It would take you forever. Don't you want a shortcut? And that's what this theorem does. It speeds up the process and uses patterns. So here we go. What we do with this thing, this theorem, is we first look at the power, which is a 5. All right? And then we go down to Pascal's triangle and look at the fifth row, the row with a 5 in it. And we're going to look at that one. And that builds the shortcut called binomial theorem. And what I do is I take all those numbers, and I like to write them like this vertically. I put 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. I like to write them all stacked vertically. And you'll see it all pan out in a little bit here. Then what I do is I take the first term, which is 3x, and I'm going to multiply 1 times 3x. I'm going to kind of put some 3x's here for each one because that's the first term. You'll see a sec how it all um, kind of pans out. All right, so I, well, again, what I did is I took the fifth, this five row, that's first. I took the first term. And what I'm going to do is since this is a fifth power, I'm going to start with the fifth power and write the powers down by one. So watch this. I'm going to take, start with the fifth power, then I put a fourth, then I put a third, second, first, and the zero power. So you have 3x, and you just go down in powers. Next, I take the negative 4 and do that repeatedly. All right, just over and over, negative 4. Okay. And in this one, I start with the 0 power and work my way to the fifth power. Okay. So that's the row right here. That's the first term. And that's the negative 4 in the opposite order of power. So again, the negative 4 came from right there. OK, do you see how the 5 and 0 add up to 5? See how 4 and 1 add up to 5? 3 and 2 add up to See, there's a pattern there, too. But So this one goes down. This Sorry, this one goes decreasing powers. This goes increasing powers. Now all we do is multiply straight across, and you got your first term. Multiply straight across, you got your second term. Multiply straight across, you got your third term. And then you're done. But we got to do some simplification, some math here. It gets a little kind of crazy. You'll see. So to multiply the top uh, uh, together, I'm going to do 1, which is the front, times 3x to the fifth. So what's 3x times 3x times 3x times 3x times 3x? Oh, my, it's big. Yes, it is big. It's 243x to the fifth. You probably want a calculator for that one. Next one, what's negative 4 to the 0? Well, isn't that 1? Do you guys know anything to the 0 is 1? So that is 1. This is right there. And this is right there. So let's keep doing that over and over. Just a big pattern. Put the 5 out front. Next one, 3x to the 4th. So 3x times 3x, then 3x and 3x. Oh, man, I need a calculator. Yes, you do. Or, or you just pretty might be good at numbers. And you'll notice that is 81x to the 4th. <clears throat> Now, the next piece is what's negative 4 to the first? It's simply negative 4. All right, let's keep going. I put a 10, because that's the front red number. And then I have 3x to the third, so 3x, 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 3 times itself, 3 times is 27. x times itself, 3 times, is x to the third. And negative 4 squared, isn't that 16? Now, do you start seeing a pattern down? Do you guys start seeing patterns down? You can start kind of shortcutting things. It's all about patterns, and I hope you can see that. So the next one, we have the 10. Let's just put all these. Can I put the 10, 5, 1 for now? Are you okay? I just put the red numbers right there. All right. Well, if we look down the pattern, well, aren't we dividing by 3? So can you tell that's 9x squared? Or if you think about it, isn't 3x, 3x, 9x squared? So you can look at the pattern, or you can power it. It's your, your call. And then negative 4 to the third. Oh, what's that? Well, isn't it just going to be 16 times negative 4? So it to be negative 64. 
See a pattern? You're just multiplying down by negative fours. Here you're dividing by 3x. Here you're multiplying by, neg by negative 4. Cool patterns. Next one will just be 3x because it's 3x to the first. And negative 4 to the fourth, you all know that. Just kidding. It's, it's 256. All right. And then what? Any, 3x to the 0. Anything to 0? Oh, oh, that's easy. 1. People forget that, but anything to the 0 is 1. And negative 4 to the fifth. Ooh, biggie, biggie. That's 1,024. All right. So my answer is this whole mess. But let's clean it up one more time. So let's do another cleaning. Here we go. Like the dentist. Let's clean our teeth. But not these aren't teeth. So the next one is we have 243x to the fifth. All right. One doesn't matter. All these ones just kind of disappear. Next. Ooh, okay, 5 times 81 times negative 4. That's easy. That's a joke. Um, but if you do multiply all those, you will get negative 1, 6, 2, 0, x to the 4th. All right, next one. Okay, 10 times 27 times 16. That is huge. Yes, it is huge. We're going to do that, and I did it with a calculator. I did not do it on my brain. I'm not that smart. It is 4,000. 20 x to the third. As you know, I'm doing with a calculator. The next one is when you multiply straight across all these is going to be negative 5,760 x squared. And then the next row when you multiply it out is 3,840 x. And the last one's pretty easy. It's just the negative 1,024. So, all of this is your answer. Those are the six terms that make your answer. Let's write them out. I know it's kind of pointless, but let's write it out nice and long horizontal. It is 243 x to the fifth minus 1,620 x to the fourth plus 4,320 x to the third minus 5,760 x squared plus 3,840 x minus 1,024. That, my friend, is the answer. So, that might seem annoying, but it's very pattern-oriented and organized. You would, if you were to multiply 3x minus 4 five times to get this big mess, you will hate it and make tons of mistakes and probably not get here, unless you're very, very careful. This is so much easier, it's so much more organized, and it's a smart move when the powers are high.